Okay, in this video, uh, we're going to take a look at calculating some unknown angles uh, in right angle triangles when we're given uh, the length of a couple of the sides. So if we have a right angle triangle and we have the lengths of two sides, we can actually calculate everything else. We can calculate the other two angles and we can calculate the other side. Uh, we'll go on to sides in the next video. Now, um, for this, um, the most important thing to remember is Sokotoa. So this means sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cos is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tan is opposite over adjacent. So how can we go and find the size of an angle using the information here given? We want to find this angle A. How big is it? Now we take a look at the sides that we have. We have the opposite side and we have the hypotenuse. Opposite and hypotenuse means we're going to use sine because sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So what we do is we say the sine of our angle A is equal to the opposite which is 5 over the adjacent or over the hypotenuse which is 7. So the sine of A is 5 over 7. Now the way we calculate the angle A is we do what's called the inverse sine or sometimes called the arc sine. So it's written like this sine inverse of 5 over 7 is equal to our angle A which is equal to. Now the way we calculate that we need to use our calculator to calculate this. And I'm not going to show you on the calculator right now, but I am going to show you this, which is how you do it on a Casio and on a Sharp. So if you're on a Casio, you press Shift, Sign, 5, Fraction Button, 7, Equals. If you're on a Sharp calculator, you press Second Function, Sign, 5, Fraction Button, 7, Equals. I want you to try that now, see what you get, and then check and see if you get the same answer as me. So the answer I get when I put that into the calculator is 45.58 degrees. And there might be a whole load of more decimals after that, but I've just rounded it to two decimal places. Okay, let's take a look at the next one here. I'm looking, sorry, this one here. I'm looking for this angle B. What sides do I have? I have the adjacent side and I have the hypotenuse. So that means I'm going to use cosine because cos is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. So here the cos of B is adjacent over hypotenuse. So that's 6 over 9. Now the way I do this is I do cos inverse of 6 over 9. That will give me my angle B. Now I do the same thing except this time instead of sine I'll type in cos and instead of 5 over 7 I'm going to type in 6 over 9. So give that a go, see what you get. So hopefully you should get 48.19 degrees. Now if you're getting some weird numbers, uh, some really small numbers, just double check that you're in degrees mode on your calculator. Um, it should say a little D up at the top or DEG up at the top, depending on what calculator you're using. Okay, this one here, angle C. Now I have the opposite side and I have the adjacent side. So opposite and adjacent means I'm going to use tan. Tan is opposite over adjacent. So the tan of C is equal to 5 over 5. So I'm going to find the tan inverse of 5 over 5. That will give me my angle C. So go to your calculator. You're doing this again, except instead of sine we're going to type tan so shift tan or second function tan and then 5 over 5 and the answer you're going to get 
is 45 degrees. And the last one then, I'm looking for this angle D. I have my opposite side, I have my hypotenuse. Opposite and hypotenuse means I'm going to use sine. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So the sine of D is equal to 8 over 15. To find D, it's sine inverse 8 over 15. That will give my angle D. Try that on your calculator now. Shift sine. Our fraction this time is 8 over 15. Or if it's a sharp calculator, second function, sine, 8 over 15. And the answer you should get is 32.23 degrees. Okay, so hopefully you got all of them right. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the size of an unknown side in a triangle when you're given um, the relevant information. Um, if you're having trouble with the calculator work, uh, I'll put up a video uh, soon on showing you exactly how to do it actually on the calculator itself. Okay, if you have any questions, uh, please ask in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.